All right, this is SAT prep. We're doing test one, section three, and this is number 18. Uh, according to the system equations of equations above, what is the value of x? So here, you can't just guess and check uh, easily because you don't have uh, you don't have an a, b, c, d to plug in, right? So plugging in, just plugging in is not a great option. Since I want to solve for x, I could either just go ahead and do elimination, right, pretty easily here uh, by multiplying the top by, let's say, a negative 2, right? And that would cancel the y's because I'd get a negative 2y and a 2y. That's fine. I could also do substitution where I solve for y because that way I'm replacing y with x stuff. Either of those is fine. I guess what I would probably do is I would probably multiply this top equation by negative 2 and get negative 2x minus 2y equals positive 18, right? Uh, and then I'd have x plus 2y equals negative 25. Right? When I add straight down, I'd get negative x plus nothing is a negative 7, so x is a 7, and that's great. Right? And then I'd pick, it doesn't matter where you're at 7, I usually write my stuff uh, all the way to the right, but it doesn't really matter. Right? So there's my 7. Um, cool. Uh, the other way, again, there's a bunch of other options. You certainly could have solved uh, this first equation for y, right? If you'd made the first equation a negative x minus 9, then in the second equation you could make this 2 times negative x minus a 9 equals negative 25, and then you'd solve. You'd get x minus 2x uh, minus an 18 is a negative 25, so you'd get negative x is in negative 7, and then you'd get to the same spot. Right? There's a bunch of ways to get there.